Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Alana from The Rustic Wife and today I am outside and I'm going to be feeding the birds. It's Ontario, Canada and it's cold. We are about minus 20 today and it is February, it's Valentine's Day actually. So I thought I would give the birds a treat. I, it's not just Valentine's Day, I give them a treat. I, I always do in the winter because the poor little things, they need extra protein and fat to get them through these cold months. I did a video um, last week I think it was on how I care for my laying hens in the winter but I also like to care for our wild birds too so I'm gonna feed them their regular bird seed and then I'm gonna go in the house and make some suet and you can come along with me I also like to sprinkle some on the ground for the birds that feed on the ground. Okay, I have all of my ingredients here assembled and my pans ready. And what I'm going to do is just put everything together, pop them into pans, stick them in the freezer and get them. Well, actually, I'll put them outside because it's colder outside than in the freezer. And then they'll be ready to give to the birds and the chickens. For my ingredients, I have some um, hog lard that I rendered down. So we've got two jars, I'm gonna melt some down. I think I'm gonna do a few batches because then I can just keep them in the freezer and give them to the birds when they've used up what I've put out there for them. I also have some all natural peanut butter. I've got some unsalted peanuts. I've got some oatmeal, dried apple. I'm gonna cut those up into smaller pieces though. I've got some frozen cranberries, some cracked corn, and some mixed bird seed. I have my bunt pan here, and this is the one that I'm gonna use for the chickens because I can just hang it down in the hen house and they can peck away at it. I've got an eight inch cake tin here. I've put some parchment paper in it just so it's easier to lift out. And I'm going to use this one so I can cut it into squares because I have this uh, suet holder. I got it from the dollar store. So that'll be perfect for that. And I also have these cute little tins here and I'm gonna press some suet into those and pop them out, put strings through the middle and hang them on the trees for the birds. Thought that they'd be kind of cute out there. So I'm using the hog lard today that I'd rendered down previously and I'm gonna melt it, but you can use beef tallow, you can use um, shortening or lard, just the ones you get from the grocery store and you can just melt that down. But since I have this, I'm gonna use this today. And I've just put this on the stove top over low heat just until it melts. I have four cups of melted lard, two cups of all natural peanut butter. I'm just gonna mix that peanut butter and lard together so it kind of makes it smooth. So I've got that fairly smooth. Next I'm gonna add some bird seed. This is a mixture and there's millet and milo there's wheat, sunflower seeds, and there's some peanuts. So I'm gonna add about five cups of that. Next, I have cracked corn. The chickens will like this too. And I'm gonna to add two cups of cracked corn. And then I've got three cups of quick oats. You can use the large, the large flake ones, but I, I just have the quick oats on hand. that a stir around see the consistency we may need to add some more bird seed or oats or corn but I also have two cups of unsalted peanuts and then two cups of the dried chopped apples once this is stirred together I'm going to throw in the frozen cranberries too starting to look good. I might add a little bit more of the oats. So one more cup. Next I'm going to pour in the frozen cranberries. There's almost four cups so it's a whole package. It'd be kind of hard. I may have to press them in. I will just try it. Yeah, that's fine. 
as the lard or your shortening, as it um, gets colder, it will start to set up and solidify again. Okay, got a whole bowl full and we're gonna put it into the containers now. I'm gonna pack it down fairly well so that it doesn't kind of fall apart on you when you try to hang it up or put it out for your birds. So there's one. Okay, there's another. I have quite a bit left. I may actually do another square pan. The containers are all filled and I'm actually gonna put these outside. You can put them in the freezer, but it's 20 below here today and I'm gonna put these outside, but far away from where Otis can get them. And if you've been watching me long enough, you know Otis is my dog and he gets into a lot of mischief. So then you can, <laughs> hi Otis. Then you, then you can take it to a, What are you doing? This is something that he would eat. So I'm gonna keep those up away from him. All right, I brought these inside and they're pretty solid. So I'm gonna take these ones out here and I'm gonna cut a piece to fit my um, suet feeder that I got from the dollar store. So we'll do that and then we'll hang some of these up and also give the chickens this one. There's my suet right there, and I'm just gonna put it into the cage. It's a nice fit. So I just have some parchment here, and I'm going to just store these suet cakes in the freezer, and I'll just put parchment in between the layers. There, so I've got these ones. There's three more suet cakes that can fit into this cage, and I will work on the other ones. To get these out of this little um, cup or whatever that is, I'm just gonna run it under some hot water until it releases. So they're all out of the, the little um, pans. I'm just gonna tie a string onto these where I can hook them onto the, um, the tree branch for them. So I've got one of them hanging up here. We're gonna make sure that they are hung up quite high so Otis can't get them. That'd be cute for them. I'm just heading down to the hen house to give the chickens their treat that I made. And they'll absolutely love this. And I'll show you how much they love it. All right. My string broke my wreath, but they love it on the tray anyway. So I'd say it's a hit. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, and our little wild birds will thank you for the extra protein and fat to get them through the winter months. And I hope you try this. The birds absolutely love it. And if you do try it, uh, let me know in the comments below and tell me how your little birds liked it. Anyway, thanks again for joining me and I'll see you again next time.